The battle between Formula One's top teams intensifies as Red Bull drops a cryptic accusation against McLaren, hinting at a secretive approach that's raising eyebrows across the paddock. Red Bull Racing has found itself embroiled in yet another controversy, as the team has officially lodged a complaint with the FIA regarding McLaren's alleged use of a controversial tire cooling technique. According to reports from Automotor und Sport, Red Bull believes McLaren has discovered a clever trick that allows them to cool their tires more quickly and effectively than their competitors. The tactic involves introducing water into the tires, which reportedly helps cool them from the inside, providing a significant performance advantage. Red Bull has raised concerns that several teams, McLaren included, are utilizing this method, prompting them to take the matter to the FIA. As a result, the governing body is now investigating the issue, with the potential for significant ramifications if the tactic is deemed illegal. This latest clash between two of Formula One's most competitive teams highlights the ongoing arms race in the sport, where teams are constantly searching for innovative ways to gain an edge, sometimes pushing the boundaries of the rules. This marks the latest chapter in the ongoing technical back and forth between the championship contenders, following the controversy over McLaren's low downforce flexi wing in Azerbaijan, which led to minor modifications. However, that wing was only intended to be used for the remainder of the season in Las Vegas. In the United States, allegations surfaced that a team, later identified as Red Bull, had a device on their car that could lower the front bib during Park Ferme conditions, potentially altering the ride height. If proven, this would be a serious violation of the technical regulations, though there is currently no evidence to suggest Red Bull used the device to gain an unfair advantage. After allegedly noticing something unusual in Singapore related to water and a rival's wheel rim, Red Bull suspects that a small amount of fluid, possibly as little as 50 G, may be used to help transfer heat from the tire to the rims. Pirelli Motorsport boss Mario Isola commented, How to do that is very easy in practical terms, said Isola, when asked how this might work and what the benefits would be. You have a valve, you put water inside. How the system works is a different story. It's basically a thermal effect, heat transfer between the tire and the rim that should give more consistency or less degradation to the tires even if you have worse control of the pressure. Because if you have a vapor inside the tires, you lose the control of the pressure, you have a pressure that is higher. I heard the story, I tried to understand myself how it works and I collected this information. But if anyone did it or not, it's still a question mark. This situation would constitute a clear breach of the technical regulations, directly contradicting a specific directive that forbids any modification to the moisture content of Formula One tires. Pirelli, the official tire supplier, provides tires inflated with dry air to maintain consistency and fairness in performance. However, concerns have been raised about the potential for tampering with this standard in ways that could go undetected, although no detailed explanation has yet been offered. As for how Red Bull might have become aware of the alleged method, it is believed that the team previously investigated the possibility of adjusting tire moisture levels, but this tactic was ultimately banned. It is also understood that some engineers involved in investigating this method have since moved to other teams, potentially continuing to pursue the same approach in their new roles. This has raised concerns about the possible continued use of the tactic, prompting Red Bull to report the issue to the FIA. In response, the FIA and Pirelli have heightened their vigilance for any signs of suspicious activity in recent races, including conducting more detailed post-race tire inspections, such as the additional checks carried out following the sprint race at the Brazilian Grand Prix in Interlagos. Both the FIA and Pirelli are fully committed to ensuring regulatory compliance and upholding the integrity of the sport. After the race, Red Bull's team principal Christian Horner decided to keep his answer brief about the matter. No comment, he said. According to Ferrari team principal Fred Vasseur, it is hard to imagine using such trick, given that their goal is to do the opposite. I won't go on this field because that it was one of the assets of the team this year to stay away of all the polemics. I don't understand the theory because I think we are all trying to remove humidity from everywhere, not to add something into the tires. Horner accused rival outfits of paranoia over Red Bull's front bib adjuster, but in his comments to Autosport, he lent into that state of mind himself. If one was a skeptic and somewhat paranoid, you say something's changed. Because even when we've gone back to the configuration of the car that, for example, we had in China, we still have some of the same issues that we have experienced. But in saying that, it changed for everybody, potentially. 
but I've never in a season seen a swing so exaggerated. The 2024 season has recently been marked by a series of technical disputes, with McLaren and Red Bull clashing both on and off the track. Despite Red Bull not securing a Grand Prix win since June, until last weekend's Brazilian GP, they still lead the Drivers' Championship, with Max at the forefront. McLaren arrived in Brazil last week with hopes of a championship double, with Norris still holding a slim chance of challenging Max for the title. However, while Norris started from pole position, he ultimately finished sixth in Brazil, as Max produced a stunning drive from 17th on the grid to secure victory, all but extinguishing Norris's faint title aspirations. Max's remarkable comeback has extended his lead over Norris to 62 points, putting him in a position to clinch the championship at the next race in Las Vegas. Andrea Stella has contended that McLaren's strive to help Norris catch Max never outweighed the team's commitment towards wanting to claim the Constructors' title. In terms of the Constructors' championship, I don't think it changes anything because it was always our priority. Even when there was a call to be made to support one driver or the other, it was always secondary to actually maximizing the Constructors' championship. Stella suspects that Ferrari could boast the advantage in Las Vegas later this month, but he anticipates both Qatar and Abu Dhabi suiting the MCL, 38's characteristics. Now clearly, we will have to analyze the points. Mathematically, we are still in the championship. I haven't looked at the classification. I hope I'm not wrong, but it shouldn't be the case. I think for Lando and for Oscar, we will try and go to the next races, trying to win the races. I think the last two venues should be quite good. Vegas will be potentially more of a Ferrari track. We will see. But all to play for and the Constructors' Championship remains, and has always been, our priority. There are a total of 86 points available across the final three rounds of the season. To claim this maximum, a driver would need to win all three Grand Prix, win the sprint in Qatar, and earn the additional point for setting the fastest lap in each race. The calculations suggest that Max could secure the Drivers' Championship as early as the Las Vegas Grand Prix. A win in Vegas would guarantee him the title, giving him an unassailable lead going into the final two races, regardless of Norris's performance. Apart from an outright win, Max will clinch the championship if Norris fails to outscore him by at least three points in Las Vegas. Even if Max doesn't score any points, Norris would still need to finish at least eighth or ninth and claim the fastest lap to keep his hopes alive. To have any chance of beating the three-time champion, Norris must outscore Max at every remaining race and also hope for multiple weekends where he can make substantial gains on the points deficit. In the constructor standings, McLaren leads Ferrari by 36 points with three races left and 147 points still up for grabs. Red Bull has closed the gap to Ferrari, sitting just 13 points behind them. All three teams remain in contention for the constructor's title, but none can secure it in Las Vegas. Even if McLaren were to score the maximum 44 points, their lead over Ferrari would only be 80 points, assuming no points for Ferrari. With the FIA now investigating McLaren's alleged tire cooling trick, the tension between these two top teams is definitely heating up. With just three races left, the battle for both the drivers' and constructors' championships couldn't be more intense. So, do you think McLaren's tire strategy is a game changer? Or is this just another case of mind games between the teams? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for the latest F1 news.